new from Capitol Hill today. We're finding out that the CEO of TikTok is going to be testifying in front of Congress for the very first time facing the House Energy and Commerce Committee in March. And the focus, the longstanding security concerns, privacy concerns that lawmakers have raised about TikTok and specifically its ties to China. NBC's Ali Vitale joins us now with more from Capitol Hill. What's interesting is we've just seen this, you know, we've seen increasingly across the country these bans on TikTok from government devices, right. whether that's you know, federal level, state level, et cetera. We've seen some lawmakers, you know, w push to try to ban TikTok from like all of our phones altogether. TikTok yeah. has long said, listen, we work to protect American data, right? They talk about the cloud, et cetera, where they're putting the data. What do lawmakers want to see from this, Allie? And what is your sense of um, how they plan to handle this issue? Well, look, you're right that this comes against the landscape here in Congress and on the state and local level of people starting to crack down on this app, one of the most widely used apps out there. We saw even just in the last few weeks that the Senate and the House both banned this on federal devices. You're right that Senator Josh Hawley and Congressman Ken Buck would like to go further and just ban it outright. I think we're probably pretty far from that. But when you see legislation like that and then you see the fact that the head of TikTok is coming to testify about a month and a half from now, it's notable and it speaks to the urgency that's happening around the idea of the potential national security threats from a lawmaker and government perspective, and also the ongoing negotiations that this company is having to try to keep itself afloat in a time when everyone's trying to figure out what the best and safest way is to regulate around it. Now, we expect that when this hearing happens in late March that he, he will be the only person testifying, but it does mark a moment, and the head of that committee, Kathy McMorris-Rogers, said this is another moment of trying to keep big tech accountable. We've seen other uh, major tech CEOs coming to the Hill. Now TikTok just the latest.